With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. Let's start the question. The given question says, what will be the molar conductivity of aluminium 3 positive ions at infinite dilution if the molar conductivity of aluminium sulfate is 858 Simon centimeter square mole inverse and the ionic conductance of sulfate ion is 160 Simon centimeter square mole inverse at the infinite dilution. Let's start by writing whatever is given to us. So in the question, it is given that the lambda m naught molar conductivity at infinite dilution for aluminium sulfate is 858 Simon centimeter square mole inverse and for sulfate ions at infinite dilution the ionic conductivity is 160 Simon centimeter square mole inverse. From the Kolrash's law we can write that at infinite dilution the molar conductivity of aluminium sulfate will be given as the sum of the ionic conductivity of their ions. So we will have this equal to the lambda m naught for aluminium C positive ion into 2 because it is generating 2 aluminium ions plus 3 into lambda m naught for sulfate ion okay so now we will substitute the value to find out the answer but before that we need to arrange it so by arranging we will find that lambda naught m for aluminium 3 positive will comes out to be lambda m naught for aluminium sulfate minus lambda m naught for sulfate into 3 divided by 2. Now let's substitute the values to find out lambda m naught for aluminium 3 positive is equal to 858 minus 160 into 3 divided by 2 which will comes out to be 189 Simon centimeter square mole inverse. Therefore the value of ionic conductance of aluminium ion at infinite dilution comes out to be 189 Simon centimeter square mole inverse. Thank you so much. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.